The 2022 Winter Olympics have finally finished on Sunday and several athletes who participated at the Beijing Games are finally opening up about China's human rights abuses after returning to their home nations. While many are questioning how China got to host the Games in the first place, there are others who vowed never to return to the Asian nation. Here's all on the latest in this perennial controversy involving China. The Beijing Winter Olympics have finally concluded. And several athletes who participated at the quadrennial event are now speaking out against China's poor human rights record. Olympians, including many gold medalists who were quiet till now, are finally breaking their silence after the Games came to a close. Speed skater Nils van der Poel, who won two gold medals at the Beijing Games, criticized the Chinese regime upon his return to Sweden. In a conversation with a Swedish newspaper, Van der Poel said while the Chinese people he met were amazing, it was extremely irresponsible to give the Olympics to a country that violates human rights as blatantly as the Chinese regime. And Van der Poel isn't alone in questioning the IOC on giving China the hosting rights. Gus Kenworthy, a British free skier who won the silver at the Sochi Games in 2014, highlighted his concerns for China's LGBTQ community. An openly gay man himself, Kenworthy, stated that issues like human rights and country's stance on LGBT should be taken into consideration while the IOC before selecting the host nations. Germany's Natalie Geisenberger, who won her sixth Olympic gold at the Beijing Games, had considered boycotting the Games before eventually deciding to take the trip to China. Now that Geisenberger is back in Germany, she has vowed to never return to the Asian nation. Stating how she never wanted to go to China but had to do it because of the Winter Games taking place there, the German said China isn't a holiday destination and she wouldn't travel to the country for even a World Cup either. But this is not the first time China has drawn criticism from the sporting world. The Chinese authorities faced severe backlash on social media late last year following the near total disappearance of tennis star Peng Shui who had accused retired Vice Premier Zhang Gaoli of sexual assault. Even the alleged mistreatment of the country's Uyghur population and their policies towards Taiwan, Tibet and Hong Kong have been criticized widely. No rest, no kill! No rest, no kill! And while China continues to deny human rights violation, trying to control the narrative using the Olympics as a platform, the sporting community refuses to buy into their hollow claims. Sports Bureau, India Today.